previously on the Kudzu cast. The dude right here said he saw he heard the word evil in the spirit box. Watch out! <sighs> Where, where, where are we at? What the hell happened? Why am I driving? Bro, it's November 4th. What? What time is it? 10.45. Waynesboro, Mississippi. What the f***? What? Before we get into the video, if you like weird videos, stuff like this, strange, conspiracies, ghosts, things like that, hit please hit the like and subscribe button. It truly helps us out. Back to the video. Off in the sticks, way past any stoplight, lies a quiet, desolate county road in Waynesboro, Mississippi. This road is known as Waynesboro Shibuta Road, as far as the government is concerned. However, for many others, it has another name, the Devil Worshippers Road. Devil Worshippers Road is one of Mississippi's most haunted roads, according to many websites, social media, and local folklore. And as lifetime Mississippians, we wanted to look more into it and do a little investigation. Waynesboro Shibuta Road is a rural county road in Waynesboro, Mississippi, located in Wayne County. Most people believe it is haunted. And they believe this haunting is a direct result from human sacrifices made by a satanic cult. Others believe the road is haunted due to a local devil-worshipping farmer who sold his soul to the devil and was in turn tricked by the devil and transformed into a demonic creature known as the Goat Man. But what have people claimed to have seen to make these accusations of a haunting? Well, witnesses have reported an array of strange events. Things such as car engines turning off by themselves, a feeling of being watched, shadowy figures being seen, vehicles being shook, and handprints even found on the car. The most terrifying of them all, however, are the reports of people running into the goat man. They say he is a seven foot tall figure with glowing red eyes and a pitchfork or an axe. He is supposedly known to appear suddenly in front of stopped cars and stare at the occupants. We decided to do some more research before we came across a few websites where people left their experiences. Of course, we have no way of verifying their claims, but most aligned with the folklore, so we'll all take them with a grain of salt. For example, one local website we found was Mississippi Haunted Houses, a website dedicated to the paranormal. There was a page dedicated just to the Devil Worshippers Road and where people left their comments. Here's one experience posted back in October of 2020. We used to hang out at Mill Pond in the 90s. One night we found a burned cat in a pentagram, hollowed hog heads on a fence post. We wanted to show my brother-in-law the road. The car lights kept flashing off and on. Sometimes they stay off. Only time I had ever had that happen. A little caution, it's all private land. No trespassing signs everywhere. Some sites show Devil Worship Road as Waynesboro Shibuta Road, which is not correct. It's actually River Road. So if you're not from the area, use a GPS. I haven't been down the road in years. I wonder if there's any uptick in activity since the old one lane bridge collapsed and several people died. Me and my boyfriend went down to where the bridge is. We sat there for a few minutes. When we got ready to leave, the car headlights would not come on. And the whole way back to the house, we had to flicker them to even get any light. There was also a very eerie like feeling inside the vehicle. When we got home, the lights worked again, but we ended up having to pray over the truck to get the spirit to leave. Let's not forget the little Indian boy walking on the side of the road at night. When you get close to him, you can see that he is bleeding from his head down onto his face. And the woman in the gray dress, her skin is just as gray, and when you get close to her, she turns around and her face is about two feet long, and her mouth is stretched open with sharp pointy teeth and no eyes, just black holes. Once you see her, she runs off extremely fast and it looks like a streak of gray just bolting around until it's out of sight. Devil Worshipper Road also has a swimming hole and a cave system directly connected to it. 
I've heard some pretty interesting stories about those two places as well. Now that we've discovered what others have seen out there, let's go see if we can find the goat man. <laughs> Approximately a mile before we pulled on to the Devil Worshippers Road, Dalton and I saw a strange light in the sky. The camera didn't capture all of what we saw, but it did capture some of it. The fuck oh, was that? You saw that, right? Yeah. George Martin. Bro, look at the fucking name of the fucking song. What? Devil Doesn't Bargain. Okay. What the fuck is the heart of that? So we're about to pull on to the Wait, road. Oh, they got a sight song, bro. So we're about to pull on to the road. And this is the song that's playing. What the world? Alright guys, we're on Old River Road. It runs into Waynesboro Shabuda Shir Road. AKA Devil's Worship Road or Devil's Road. However you want to say it, whatever you think the lore is. This is the road where apparently Satanists, cult members, however you want to say it, have have performed human sacrifice here. They've killed people according to the lore, to Satan himself. So this place is supposed to be evil. All right, so we're here to see if we can capture anything. Maybe get kidnapped ourselves. Maybe. Maybe for a good video. Um, also, because it's so evil, apparently there's an eight-foot-tall goat man. I'm coming for you, goat man. Apparently, he lives out here, and uh, I would like to meet him. He is apparently eight foot tall and can supposedly stop your car. And <laughs> why are you spitting up? So good. He supposedly can stop your car, and, uh, and then he'll appear in front of you. And if so, he's going to catch a, a, a hollow point. So, let's see. I would like it to be known as well. This car will not stop at all, and if it does stop, the car will not be turned off. Oh, we gotta stop. We will probably stop somewhere, but I'm really freaked out because this light keeps going in and out. It's dimming. It is dimming. I don't know. Strange. Why is it dimming and then getting brighter? What is this? Just this road. I've never gone before. I don't like it. You said this road's creepy? Yeah, I just don't like it. Enjoy my chest is hurt. Why is your chest hurt? No. I don't know. Get on this road. Chest hurt really. You want to take a deep breath? It hurts. Interesting. Did it just start hurting? <coughs> no. Listen here, you f***ing goat man. You making my brother cough blood? His own blood? F*** you. <laughs> Worshippers. That's the Lord. Except our fans out there in fucking Waynesboro, you're not devil worshippers. You guys, you guys are cool. They're devil worshippers. Oh, goat man! The goat man's not real. So we're trying to find road signs of like old uh, old river road or Sh Shabuda, Shabuda um, you know, Waynesboro, Shabuda County Road, anything like that to indicate that we're really here. All the fucking road signs are gone. It's weird. Like there's a stop sign and well, there should be the, the T. There's usually nothing or there's just one and it's like the side road name. So I took a picture of the GPS uh, where we're at to prove that we're really here. It's right here. It's just real strange. I don't know what the hell's going on. I can either two things. Um, people like us coming in here to investigate and they're probably still in signs. Or you f***ing devil worshippers. You don't want anyone to know where you live, do you? Well, we found you. The beginning of the... Um, what the fuck was that? You saw that, right? The beginning of the um what the fuck was that you saw that right the beginning of the um what the fuck was that you saw that right why do you like them i don't know i don't like that hold up it's dim dim i don't like wait it. 
What's that out there? I don't know, but I'm getting freaked out. Bro. Well, guys, looks like that concludes this video. You know, we didn't really see a goat man. Uh, I was really disappointed. I wanted to meet him. Maybe he'd lead me back to his house. You know, like a Mr. Tom Thomas thing, you know, Lion Witch Wardrobe. Maybe he'd become my friend, right? But unfortunately, we didn't. I mean, we didn't really see a lot of strange things. I think the only weird things we saw were the light in the sky. Could have been military plane because it was low, fast, and quiet. I don't know, UFO maybe? Check previous video. Uh, the light in the woods was also kind of strange. Um, maybe a reflection, maybe somebody hiding in the woods, spotlighting, we are in the south. But I don't know, comment down below. What did you think that light was? What did you think the light in the sky was? As far as like what the lore says, like what we're expected to see, like goat man and stuff like that. The only thing that I saw that matched up with the lore was the lights. Like the dome lights in Dalton's car kept dimming in and out. The headlights were dim in and out by themselves. That was a little strange. But anyway, if you like this video, please go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button. It truly helps us out. Let us know that you want us to keep making this type of content. We think we're going to go look at the three-legged lady in Columbus, Mississippi in the next week or so. Once again, guys, thank you so much and have a wonderful day.